Hey, what's going on guys? Jimmy here. I'm going to make a tutorial video today because I really have nothing else to do. So, this game is called Balloons Terror Defense 6. On Steam, which means computers, it costs, I believe, $4 or $5. On mobile, it costs 99 cents. There are many aspects to this game that not many people know about. So, first, I'm going to go with the basics. You're going to get a basic tutorial once you download the game. It'll show you the basics of upgrading towers and heroes. Now, once you press the settings button, you can adjust the, the, the sounds, which means whenever you press a button, it, it makes a sound effect, or the music. And a little while ago, they upload, they made the jukebox. With songs, you can just put in the jukebox, and then, then while you're playing games, you can listen to the music. I have some, to me, these are the preferable ones, but they cost trophies. You get trophies by playing the Odyssey. I'll, I'll talk about that later. Okay. Here's where the update notes, the latest update is. Right over here. Now, you might want to make an account on this. Do you back up your account so you can play on any device? Press backup. For account stuff, press the account button and language, you know, language. If you speak a different language. This button, it doesn't always look like this, but it usually looks like an achievements button. Well, uh, let's see. These are your achievements and, like, uh, your account. If you have a computer and on, you're on BlueStacks. Anyway, these are the achievements. I, myself, have done quite a few. There's a lot of achievements in this game. See? There's quite a lot. Okay, now anyway guys. Here are the basic things. This is where you buy stuff. You don't have to buy stuff to win the game, but if you want to, you can. Here's the trophy store. I was talking about trophies before. You get them by beating the Odyssey. I'll make a later video about that today. I've been doing Odysseys a lot. You can check out some other videos on my channel for that. There's the, there's the feature, which means like things that are kind of like new and stuff. The hero stuff, the balloons, co-op, game UI, and then the inventory, which is what you have. They all cost different amount of trophies. Things that look fun. More fun, cost more. Here are the monkeys. If you just finished the game, and you want to upgrade your towers, like things you can unlock, I should say unlock, not upgrade, you go to this section for primary military magic and support. What you do is you tap on the monkey, you see how much experience they have. If they have enough experience, you can upgrade something. I'm already fully unlocked on all my towers, so I can't really show you. But, as you can see, different things cost different amounts of experience. For example, sharp shots, quick shots, and long range darts cost much less experience than Ultra Juggernaut, Cosmo Monkey Fan Club, and Crossbow Master. Now, different upgrades for different monkeys cost different amounts. Also, the more you use a tower, by that I mean, the more, the mo the more amounts of money you put into that tower translates to experience. Like, let's say you spent, like, what, what is it, like 100 or 200 on a dart monkey versus like 2,000 on a super monkey. Well, you buy a dart monkey, you buy a super monkey, they'll give you, they'll give each monkey the same amount of experience. So let's say it gives you one experience for buying the tower. So it gives you one experience, one experience, one experience, one experience, one experience, one experience, but only to that tower. Now, Different things in different towers cost different amounts of experience. For example, the true sun guy I think cost like 500,000 experience I think it was. Now, heroes. This is the main aspect of the game that makes things different. Besides the maps and the game modes. There's Quincy, the archer. Gwendolyn, the pyromaniac. Shrekka Jones, the artillery commander. 
Owen Greenfoot, the Forest Guardian. Uh, Etienne, the drone operator. Captain Churchill, the tank. Literally, he's in a tank. The regular Benjamin, which is the Code Monkey. And, you know, I choose to have this guy because I like him. Then there is Azili, the Voodoo Monkey. Pat Fusty, the Giant Monkey. Adora, the High Priestess. And Admiral Briggle, the Naval Commander. All, almost all of these guys have skins. For example, Admiral Briggle has the Dread, the uh, Dread Pirate Briggle skin. Uh, Dora has her Joan of Arcadora skin. Pat Fusty has uh, the Fusty the Snowman skin. Zilly has the the Cat Lady skin. Benjamin has the DJ skin. Captain Churchill has the Sentai Churchill skin. Etienne doesn't have any. Owen Greenfoot has the uh, Ocean Guardian skin. Stryker Jones has the... Well, he has two. He has the... What's this called again? Auto Jones skin, and then he has the Biker Bones. Wendelin has the Harlequin skin, and then the... Scientist Gwendolyn skin. And Quincy has the... Hunter skin, and then the Cyber Quincy skin. Those are the heroes. I'm gonna go to Knowledge next. There's primary knowledge, military knowledge, magic knowledge, support knowledge, heroes knowledge, powers knowledge, and that's it. These things affect your gameplay. This is probably the most effective thing. This affects your gameplay the most. This is like a knowledge tree system where you have to buy this to get to get this to get that, and then also this. I have to get this to get this. One thing I suggest you have to get a lot is, like, the first thing you need to get is more cash. Uh, not this one. Wait. You might want to get this one, too. The military consp conscription. You might want to get the... You definitely need to get the mana shield. You... Oh, wait. Uh, go back. Go back. Uh, you need to... Um, I don't want to get the more valuable than as, but not really needed. Oh, but definitely get the experience booster. Because this helps a lot. Now, heroes, I suggest getting empowered heroes, which in turn means you're getting this, this, everything. You also need to get Ability Discipline, and maybe Ability Master, doesn't really matter, but whatever. This is not needed, not really needed, but you can. Now for Powers, get the Banana Farm one, and also the Budget Cash Drops. The, those are very good. Super Thrive, I don't think many people use Thrive. Pre-game, oh yes, pre-game prep, you need these. It's very useful, along with that Mana Shield. Those are the main things for the knowledge. You can also respect them, and also the enable button to enable them. Then there are powers. There are Super Monkey Storm, Monkey Boost, Thrive, Time Stop, Cash Drop, Banana Farmer, which I was talking about, and also Cash Drop, of course. Pontoon, Road Spike, Spool Trap, Moab Mine, Camo Trap, Horror Blake, Tech Bot, and Energizing Totem. There are also Insta Monkeys, which you can find in the Powers tab. These you get after beating round 100, or beating challenges, and sometimes getting the daily chest. But I have beat 100, round 100, several times. I've also used a lot of Insta Monkeys in my Insta Monkey challenge, go watch that. You can get any type of Insta Monkeys, including Tier 5s, but I think those are much more rare. I don't think I've ever gotten a Tier 5 Insta. Anyway, this is the daily chest. You can get stuff... Every thing is 24 hours. I've gone, did that 134 times. There's also co op mode. You can play with other people. This requires Wi Fi. These events over here, the Odyssey and the Race, also require Wi Fi. So does the collection event, I think. 
and just pressing play, all these maps you can do off Wi-Fi. Monkey Meadow, Tree Stump, Town Center, Lotus Island, Candy Falls, Winter Park, that's... And these six, these six, and four also are beginner maps. The reason I have golden perimeters is because I've beaten chips mode literally every single game mode in each of these maps. I used to have this one, but then they got glitched, and then they moved it back to impoppable only. So that's all the ones for beginner. And for me, it has these six, these six, and these, and it's by silence. Advanced. Starts at Mesa. Ends at Underground. Expert starts at Flooded Valley. All the way to Hashtag Ouch. But the actual hardest game mode is Bloody Puddles. As you can see, I've only beaten Easy Mode in that. Quad never just bothered. Workshop never never bothered. Dark Castle's pretty easy. Flooded, Flooded Valley. If you want to get quick, quick monkey money, I suggest Easy, Medium, Hard, but also Military only, something you really need to do. Reverse is literally the exact same, so do that too. Well, almost the exact same. Except the balloons come out backwards instead of forwards. Infernal is actually pretty easy. Then there is the daily challenges, all the events and stuff like the Aussie event. Co op daily challenge, daily challenge. The race event, of course. And there's no advanced challenge today because it's Sunday. Anyway, guys, that's the main tutorial. Now I'm going to show you guys a map and like how to play the game, like strategies and stuff. This going to go easy, standard, whatever, just because I want to not be able to pay attention. Now, guys, it's not a must. But I suggest you get your hero down first. But if you can't afford it, I suggest, you know, getting that free dart monkey from the primary thing. Placing that guy down, pressing go, and saving up for your hero. The reason I have $850 is you're going to get $650 if you, don't have the if you don't have the monkey knowledge. Is because I have the extra $200 at the, end of each at the beginning of the game. Anyway, there we go. There's my hero. The party lights don't come with... The hero is just... I got it. Anyway, these are the towers. Dart Monkey, Boomerang, Pennon, Attack Shooter, Ice Monkey, Glue Gunner, Sniper Monkey, Sub, uh, Monkey Buccaneer, Monkey Ace, the Helicopter, the Mortar, the, the Wizard, Super Monkey, Ninja Monkey, Alchemist, Druid, Banana Farm, that's very good. Spike Factory, Monkey Village, and Monkey Engineer. They all have different prices, mostly. For example, the, the Wizard's the same price as the Engineer. Now, there's four sections, as I said before. Primary, which is the blue. Military, which is the green. Magic, which is the purple. And Support, which is the yellow. Now, as you can see, a regular Dark Monkey with some Monkey knowledge is pretty good. Still, on round 7. Now, I will say, Quincy is one of the best heroes for this be for a beginner, because since you just relax until leads, which is a big thing. So, if you just get a Quincy a bomb shooter, you'll be good for leads. Quincy, I think, can beat round 40, but if, but if you have trouble beating round 40, I suggest getting, like... A bionic, a bionic boomerang with good placement. I'll show you one of my favorite strategies, although this requires some grinding, because you need to have full bottom path for the dart monkey, with quick shots, very quick shots. You also are going to need... Let me think. The boomer... Unlock to bio boomerang with with uh, glaives. You're also going to need a bomb shooter, preferably recursive cluster. Almost, I don't really use these paths much, but recursive cluster, very good. Always go heavy bombs with this one. That'd be good for leads. Now, for pure popping power, that's what the bio boomer is for. 
Let's cannon. Camos, don't worry, he'll be fine until round 40. That's the go-to to beat round 40 on almost any map. At least I think. Now, Bio Boomer, just put it in a good spot. Like right here. I recommend getting a 2 2 and getting a Bionic Boomerang. 2 2 means tier 2 to the top, tier 2 to the middle. 2 0 oh, 2 means 2 to the top, 2 to the bottom. No middle. Also, as you can see, you can only go down two paths. And you can only fully unlock one path. Well, per monkey at least. Also, you can only get one tier 5. For example, the bi the boomerangs. I'm talking talk about one each of each. Different tier 5s. So, one Blade Lord for the boomer. Like, uh, you can also get a permacharge for the boomer, but only one. Same thing with the, uh, Moab Domination. Anyway, I have enough money for Bionic Boomerang. These towers will carry you all the way to round 28, which is Let's. Because they can't pop lens. Which is where this bomb shooter comes in. Put him right here. This guy will be a recursive cluster. I recommend getting recursive cluster before you get bigger bombs and heavy bombs because you'll see. Look, you see he drops like one bomb that explodes like eight other bombs. Well, once I get recursive cluster, you'll see why recursive cluster is better than getting heavy bombs. Anyway, right, guys, this is the point in time where you might want to wait a little bit just to, like, grind a bit and get some money. Now, for money, I suggest playing most maps. Don't just do the easy maps. Some of the intermediate maps are also kind of easy. Cubism, in my opinion, is one of the easiest maps along with logs. And also, that's because they have water, land, and a lot of track. Oops, wrong button. For computers, there are hotkeys. Like, for example, you can press Q to get the dart monkey. Right here. W to get the boomer. I'm going on and on and on. Except for the military. The military, it's Z for the sniper, X for the sub, C for the buccaneer, V for the ace, B for the helicopter, and N for the mortar. Should be M, but it's not. So, it's the first six letters going from the top to bottom of the keyboard is Q, W, E, R, T, Y for the primary, U, I, O, P, uh, and A, wait, no, wait, sorry, it's not that, the second row is the, is the matrix, so, for example, that's the wizard, which is A, S is the super monkey, D, then F, than G. For the support, I think it's H, J, K, and L. For banana farm, spike factory, village, and engineer. Now, as you can see, this strategy will pretty much carry you to beat easy mode. Now, if by now your hero should have its level 3 ability, at least, depending on what hero you have, if you have the hero start at level 3 thing, then it, obviously you'll start at level 3. Now, heroes work in a level system, not an upgrading system. There's literally no choice but to have go from level 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6 to 7 to 8 to 9 to 10, all the way up to 20. You'll go, you can also get a hero booster, but it costs monkey money. Not real money, monkey money. Because if this costed 270 real dollars, that'd be very expensive. But it only costs 275 monkey dollars. I think it costs 450 for the full upgrade, but he's already level 7, so that's why. Also, don't mind those noises, that's just my notifications popping up. Also, I can oddly talk very fast this morning, I do not know why. Although I'm not really enunciating, this is supposed to be a tutorial. This is what happens when I film in the morning, but anyway. This is the main tutorial, some strategies. I'll show you some other strategies in sandbox mode.
once I finish around 100 of this. I'll show you guys a very easy way to get around 100. Oop, ah, why did I press home? Well, I guess I'll just tell you that. I suggest you get farms. I'll show you the strategy in the sandbox. So, you saw what I had, right? Hope you guys did. You might want a banana farm, but it's not needed. What you can do is get a singular one of these with the banana farmer if you can get one. Then get a banana research facility. Once you can. Then work on some more plantations. Just keep getting like one, two, three, and then one. Like, no, wait. Get this research facility. Two more plantations. Another two plantations. If you can fit one, then one more plantation, like over here. Put the farmer on this spot right over here. And then once you're done with those plantations, just get research facility, research facility, research facility, research facility, research facility, and our research facility. That'll be enough for farms, but hopefully, once you get all plantations in this one research facility, you should now work on your protection. Now, it shouldn't be too hard at that point to upgrade your sharpshooter with the very quick shots to a crossbow master with very good shots. Your bomb shooter is going to stay at the way it is, as a, uh, 240. The boomerang, just keep it at a bionic boomerang. Get turbo charge if you need to. But this setup, if you can get by round 63, I'll show you what that means. Round 63. There we go. This should be round 63. It's gonna collect the money because we don't need this guy anymore. This was just for a demonstration. This setup can easily be round 63. If you guys want to get an alchemist, it'll just enhance your performance. Get a stronger stem with faster throwing. Faster throwing is not needed, but you can. Now, obviously, that's round 63. Done. I think this can also be round 76. Let me check. And as you can see, easily beat round 76. What about round 78? I'm not sure about this one. But let's just try it. Boom. Round 78. Now, this part's not the hard part. The hard part's the ceramics that come through. And if you guys thought this was it, well, haha, ha, that's not. You'll see later, there's gonna be some camo ceramics, which means these guys won't be. This guy, and this guy, and this guy will not do anything. Only this crossbow master, because he can see camo. Forgot to mention, camo balloons. A very big fear. The only camo mob that exists is the DDT. Which is also a very hard, very hard balloon to pop. It's a lead black balloon, I think. That's also very fast. As fast as pink balloon, I think. And also a MOA. But it's a little bit weaker than a MOA. Look, I'll show you guys. Oh wait, we'd be around 78. That's nice. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the strategy to get to round... That'll beat the round 90 DDTs. I suggest getting from charge. If you can. Get a village. This is kind of needed. Get a MIB. Always known as the Monkey Intelligence Bureau. With bigger radius and jungle jumps. If you can't get a MIB, then, well, don't get a perm charge. Because that guy's not really useful. I suggest getting a helicopter to Apache Dart Ship. With camo. I'm not sure, but I think this guy can be DDTs. Let's go and see. By the way, Crossbow Master automatic lead detection. Don't have to worry about that. This guy can beat the round 90 DDTs, I'm quite sure. Also, I should probably get rid of this MIB to show you. 
now I'm just going to send, send out round 95. This is the biggest chunk of DDTs you'll see. I think we might be able to beat this, even without the Perma Charge. Perma Charge will be on strong, so just so we'll pop the uh, fortified mobs and not the DDTs, because you can't see the DDTs. And this guy, look stood first. This guy, strong. This guy, doesn't matter. Now, as you can see, we're doing terrible. So what I'm going to do is hopefully at least you can get a camo village. Just get a camo village, sell your boomer, get another chrono charge, but this time, with red out of ranks. Now it's at around 95, if you have a camo village. Now you'll be fine. On first, still on strong. If you can, get a bomb blitz. Because bomb blitz will help out a lot. Now, you'll see the, these balloons get popped very quickly. If you need to, you can pop down a Prima Charge, not need it. By pop down, I mean use the ability. As you can see, beats around 95 easily. Now, this is for the measly price of 21 grand then like 29 or 30 grand, and then 30 grand. So, 80 grand, not very hard to get if you have a lot of money. And by that, I mean a lot of farms. Keep in mind, you can sell the farms you need to. Also, get a stronger stem. You need a stronger stem. That's a strategy. Another strategy, I'm going to sell all for a minute. gonna sell everything. Now guys, this will be a very good strategy if you can do it. Shouldn't be too hard, although you need a little bit of monkey knowledge. I suggest getting the master double cross, which means getting two of the same tier five, but only the cross my master this is. So get this, all the way up to cross my master, private shots, and this guy. Very quick shots. Oh, wrong one. Uh, this guy. Yeah, there we go. And then you can get a sub. I hope you have a, you have a sub, right? If you don't have a sub, you're kind of dead. Get a preemptive strike with airburst darts. Now, preemptive strike. What it does is very cool. It just immediately kills any sort of Moab balloon, which basically means all DT, DTs. And then, by the way, these Chrono Masters are mainly focused on the uh, on the cleanup for all the ceramics that come out. Now, by the way, the, guys, this is not a balloon. That's not a balloon, by the way. This guy, I'm going to show you guys the ranking of balloons. It's red, blue. Green, yellow, pink, black. There's your black it. Pur black, purple, and white, I believe, on the, are on the same level. Wait. And I think so are leads. Zebras are one above leads. Whites, purples, and blacks. Zebras will send up whites and blacks, but not purples and leads. Black balloons, white balloons, that is. Rainbow is one above the, um, what's it called? Zebra, then ceramic. Then I believe it's fortified ceramic, Moab, fortified Moab, BFB, fortified BFB. So oh my God, fortified. So oh my God, DDT, fortified DDT. And then I'll show out the bad balloon and then the fortified bad balloon later because it's very difficult. Also. Just gonna nuke that other guy. Now, if you guys notice, DDTs, quite hard to pop. Unless you got this guy. They preempt the strikes up. Bad balloon, very hard to pop. 
This guy is the one thing that'll kind of kill you. Given this is a weaker bad because it's on 95, but calm down. Let's get a, just get a few of these. Just get that preemptive strikes up, you'll be fine. This entire strategy costs like 90 grand, but this one will last you all the way to around 100. Also, if you got if you can, nuke. This strategy, let me see, uh, well, this is on easy mode, costs 27, then, four, then 11, Thir like 40 grand for this, and then like another, like, it costs like 90 grand, like 80 grand overall, Benjamin, whatever. There we go. That's a good strategy. Another good strategy, if I can think of it, would be tag zone. Fast shooting, even faster shooting. With a strong uh, stim. Then a good old MIP. Then get a, oh, not a banana farm, another village, but oh, this one is a primary mentoring, primary mentoring, sorry. And then this should be able to beat 95, I think. I'm not sure, but I think it does. Also, I really need to make this guy permanent brew. A per permanent brew is needed for this. Because this guy shoots so fast, he gets rid of the stronger stem buff almost instantly. Also, as you can see, good combo, not the best. If you can afford it, overclock. I'll show you what it does. Now, I'm going to send out a bad balloon. This guy, not going to fully pop it, I don't think. I'll show you the, the the version when he tries to pop it with no overclock, then with overclock. Let's just see if he'll pop it. I don't think he'll pop this balloon. Oh, he does. I didn't know that. Well, if that's the case. Look, see where this bad balloon pops. Pops like right here. Like I'll show you. Like right over here. And then all the balloons get till right here. Now I'm gonna show you guys with an overclock. Overclock with with all these towers should be able to beat this. And overclock. Now guys, it is shooting out tax, it's just a glitch. It's a visual glitch, it's actually shooting just insanely fast. Now, as you guys can see, it popped over there. So anyway, yeah, it the balloons the bad balloon popped here, balloons popped here. So yeah. Overpowered would be the right word to call this. Also the overclock lasts quite a while. So this thing costs twenty then Oh, no, wait, 20, then 50, then, like, 10 or 11. And then these, it's like, 13 grand. So not that expensive. Well, you don't need to get permanent brew. Maybe just, like, three or four stronger stims. So, yeah. Those are some good strategies. I'll show you a primary only strategy that should be be able to be 95. All those are very expensive. You can do this. Then get this. 
Get another crossbow master. And then what you do is you get something that's good for balloons. So, like, this guy. Play forward. You faster. And then, this should be able to be 100, I think. Actually, no, only 95, I think. Maybe not 100. Hmm. I'm not sure if this will work or not, but it should work. Moral of the story, just get all your monkeys unlocked. Now, this should be able to beat round 95, I think. Yeah, we'll beat it. But barely. Now, anyway, I'm just going to show you guys the pure power of the Glaive Lord. The guy with the spinning glaives around him. I'm just going to show you. These are round 95 class Moabs. And he's actually doing pretty good. Gonna send out 10 95 rank BFBs. Wait, that's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, as you can see, he's doing quite a bit of damage. Also, I got the poor fish Moabs, I know. You'll just get regular Moabs. They're boring. Now, I don't think anything will get through. This is quite literally a shredder. <laughs> I look. Those are BFBs. Now, with the simple help of a... One or two... More presses. I think he can, he can beat a Zoe My God. And also, this is 95 classes, oh my god. This is a more powerful one than the round 80 one. This is what you'll be faced on around 80, but a little bit weaker. So, your mileage may vary. Now, if you see, like, the yellow particles coming towards this, oh my god, that's the Moab press working. Now, that's a primary only strategy, or a boomerang only strategy, actually. That'll beat round 80 for you. Now guys, that indeed is a tutorial of, well, how to beat the game on most maps. Okay, guys. Time to leave. Gotta do some other stuff now, so bye.